What's up YouTube? Today I want to show you how to get the live feed from your FPV drone onto a TV or monitor. Here we go! Five, two, So I don't know about you, but anytime I fly FPV, someone comes floating around and wanting to investigate what I'm doing, is always super curious, interested, and I feel like it's our responsibility as pilots to bring people in. I basically want to do good for the drone community at large, and the best way to do that is through education. So I've used the DJI Air Unit and similar transmitters to do some live streaming work in the past. But this is more of a fun use case. A lot of times when I'm flying, my daughter will come out and want to see what I'm doing. And I've brought a second set of goggles out for the companion flight so she can view what I'm doing. But a lot of times that goes south and she gets uninterested quickly because the goggles don't fit, this and that. We've also had times where people come over to our house and want to show a few people what I'm doing and only one person can wear the goggles at a time. So I've been trying to think of a way to get the FPV feed onto the monitor as easy as possible. Now I know there's a bunch of different ways to do the same thing, so I'm gonna show you my way on how I get my FPV feed onto this monitor. So the gear that I'm using separate to my normal FPV gear is the DJI Smart Controller because of its HDMI out. You can use pretty much any monitor as long as it's able to take like an HDMI or HD feed. I've got a few extra cables mainly to power the monitor and to get the signal hardwired from the smart controller over to the monitor. And then a good USB-C to USB-A cable to get the data feed from your goggles down to the smart controller. Let's talk signal flow for a second. So the video is going to be captured through the FPV camera and transferred to the video transmitter which comes out the antenna. Then it gets picked up via these antenna, patch antenna and omnidirectional antenna and gets fed normally into your eyeballs. But we're going to take the USB-C port and connect it with this USB cable directly to the smart controller on the top here. The smart controller is going to act as like an aggregate to be able to send an HDMI feed out and have it come in to the monitor. Uh, you just make sure you're on the right input on the monitor and voila, you have your camera feed through the whole system on your monitor. Let's fire up the drone and see if we can get feed on the monitor. All right, so the drone's firing up. <clears throat> it's transmitting the signal out of the antenna. I am indeed getting goggle feed inside of here. But what's going on? It's not showing up on the monitor. What you need to do is go into the smart controller, back out to the main screen, and since this is Android based, you wanna hit the little Windows logo, you'll need to press the FPV Live app, which should be on the latest firmware update. And once you have the FPV Live app, it should send the feed, ha ha, voila, to your TV monitor. And now you can see exactly what the drone sees. The latency can be an issue depending on your computer monitor or TV monitor. You know, there's also the latency between the drone and the goggles, the goggles and the controller, the controller and the monitor, and the monitor itself has latency. So if you'd ask me if I could fly off of this, maybe if it was way up by like 300, 400 feet up in the air with nothing around and no obstacles, but if you're asking me to freestyle through a monitor, it's just not gonna happen. Again, this is mainly just a companion uh, viewership. It's fun to bring people along. I wouldn't necessarily fly from the monitor. Now, typically I fly in the goggles with the four by three aspect ratio. That's why you're getting the bars on the side here. But if you wanted to make it more of a full screen experience for your viewership, you just go inside the goggles menu and switch it up to the 16 by nine and you got it. It'll fill the screen and get rid of the black bars.
if you like this kind of content, make sure to let me know by hitting that like button. If you want to see more of this type of content, feel free to subscribe. But hey, if that's not for you, that's cool too. Okay, and we'll see you next time. Peace!